So ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's your boy Fred. I want to welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. For those of you that have subscribed, I so much, I so much from my heart love you guys. And for those of you that are yet to subscribe, please don't forget to slap the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell. Um, so today lectures will be straight on progression and how to build on a progression. Um, this is um, one of the secret of playing your bass and enjoying what you play and making others to enjoy your play. People that play bass and you see you like what they do is that they understand the technique of building around progression. There are what we call skeletal system of a bass. Now let me do some simple demonstration so that you can be able to understand. Now. Every song has a progression. And when we talk about what progression is, progression simply means a pattern by which a music flows. A pattern or a reading or the surface by which a music is being played. And for every music, there's a skeletal system of the progression or the reading. So when you understand the progression or the reading or the pattern in which the, the music is being played, it will be easy for you to build on it. So what do I mean? Now we have something like, let me use a very simple song. Uh, let me find a simple song on a 14545. Jehovah you are the most high Jehovah you are the most high God Jehovah you are the most high Jehovah you are the most high God so this is just a simple skeletal system of the progression of the song it just comprises of your one four five progression which is your do your fa your do your soul so it is a very simple progression but when you talk about the building of the progression this involves so many techniques building of progression involves so many 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 things you have to learn the scales you have to learn your major scale your anonian scale your dorian scale all the modes the nature of the modes and um, the vast majority of diverse scales and uh, you have to learn it because it will help you to provide your notes it will help you to provide your passing notes, sorry. It will help you to provide leaks and it will help you to give to give you feels, riffs in the song. If you don't have much comprehension on what scales, on what um, uh, scales, if you can't build, you can't be able to build on any progression effectively. Like this. Now I'm building on the progression. You see, I'm building on the progression. So I'm building on the progression based on the a number of skills that I know and I can function with that by instinct it has been developed in my mind. So, how you build on progression is by knowing the skills, knowing the different modes, and knowing how to apply them. And in the application, application is something um, that is very different. There are different ways of applying the different skills on any progression. Like, I, I was watching a, a, a video yesterday on a guy by a praise jam, um, when uh, Malanti Bass did uh, this thing, uh, he's this thing. the kind of runs and the kind of riffs, the speed on the dexterity he used in the simple progression was something else. I tried to score it, I was like, oh god, this guy is very good. Why? Because the guy has understand modes, he has understand skills, and he knows efficiently most of those things so for you to build on any progression you must first of all understand your skills you must first of all understand your moods and you must first of all understand how to apply them 
basically. But before then, you must know the progression of songs. Why are listening to worship songs very well? It's because of in every worship songs, there are diverse building blocks that every bassist use in the worship song. So you can listen to worship songs and be able to, when you know the skeletal progression of the songs, you, you then begin to pick the feelings, which is the building the bassist use in it. So simple like you are the most Jehovah, you are the most Jehovah, you are the most Jehovah, you are the most God. You see, I'm building around that simple progression. So what you just have to do is to understand your skills and know your modes. When you know the modes, it will give you comprehension on how to play when you have, like, let me say, when I want to go to the... This is your Dorian. So, if I want to play something like... So, all these scales I did was just majorly on the Dorian scale, my Ionian scale. So this is just for the do now. When I want to play my my mina, so this is just my mina. The mina is the the Phrygian scale. So when I want to build around it, I play all the notes that is located at the Phrygian scale. You can play it anywhere to build it. So you can use it as your passing note or your... So building on any every, and, and on any progression is, de is a determinant factor of how much scale you know and how much you are acquainted with the scale, your understanding concerning the scale. And passing notes are in diverse level. I can do so many passing notes of far. You see, I can do so many passing notes of far because I understand scales, I understand modes. So this is very, very important. So to build on any progression, you must first of all be acquainted. You must first of all be acquainted with your your skills, your modes, and everything. So I believe this lecture will help somebody. So thank you very much, Fred.